<laughs> have you ever been nervous? Oh yeah, all the time. I constantly have anxiety just about dumb things though. Not, I guess, <laughs> things that normal people get anxiety about. What are you nervous about today? I, you know what, today, uh, getting my pop filter installed and then having to attach it to a fire extinguisher is a last minute solution. <laughs> Wait, what? That was, I, uh, I couldn't figure out how to attach my pop filter, Gavin. I'll send you a photo. So it's on a fire extinguisher in front of you. I have a you. fire extinguisher pointed at my face right now <laughs> on my desk. Because it was the only thing I could find in my room that I could attach the pop filter to because it wouldn't fit on the mic. <sighs> and uh, I had a great moment where I moved the mic and I'm like, why isn't the pop filter moving with it? Oh, it's on a fire extinguisher. That's why they're not actually connected. I gotta say, uh, I'm impressed that you have a fire extinguisher in your room. That's very safe. I, you know, it's just one of those, I, got, I bought one of those stupid boring company flamethrowers, and I thought if I have a flamethrower, I should probably also have a fire extinguisher, and uh, it, I opened it, put it under my desk, and it has been there ever since. I used to understand all kinds of stuff, and now I, I, I just, I'm, I'm just, I'm tech dumb. What's the dumbest solution you've had to a tech problem? Well, I haven't used a fire extinguisher yet. <laughs> it's um, still going. It still works great. <laughs> Looking at it right now. I'm still in a pillow fort, too. I never figured You're out. You're still in the pillow like fort? It. Are you yeah, ever going to live in a normal room? I feel like I've had a, a really weird week. It's just been a week. I broke a toe. <gasps> what? I broke a toe by accident. I'm, I'm fine. I Did broke you stop it on a fire extinguisher? Oh, you know me too well. Um, no, I opened a door angry. I should have had a, a nap. Oh, I should have had a you nap on the way I... to your on the way to your hate nap. <laughs> I was you on the way to my hate nap. Yeah, oh. doors are dangerous. You know what? Actually, I don't think the angle even really makes sense because, like, you see <laughs> the fake. Why don't you just can you scroll it on like a note? Do you have a phone that you just like do a no, little doodle? I, I literally have nothing I can write with <laughs> right now. I got. I don't have a thing. I got a fire hydrant and that's it. That's the only thing I got on my desk. <laughs> wow, it's right to my wall. <laughs> That seems like overkill, but I'm, I'm prepared to use it. <laughs> Have you ever seen a fire hydrant go off? You can't aim those. It's like a bomb. It's like a grenade. They just explode everywhere. It's a mess. The hydrant in the street or, or the extinguisher? Oh, uh, did I say hydrant? I meant extinguisher. Yeah, that's why I was... Another thing, I've been... I think that's all my old notes from the past. Oh, no, it isn't. Andrew, did you ever draw your, ups, your looking up face? No. I completely oh, forgot on. I was supposed to do that. I forgot that was a thing. Yeah, I'll, I want to see time. your face. I'll prepare because I, I, cause well, I like, still can't picture it. I still don't know what that means. Even yeah, I, I don't, don't either. Uh, I, I think you're right. I don't think it makes sense visually. But is this uh, something that we can commission? Uh, no, I, you know, I think I could do it. I just, I don't. <laughs> once again, I don't have a paper. Well, I have paper. I don't <laughs> what have a pen. What kind of person? Like, I get you might not have paper on you, but what yeah. kind of person can't get access to paper within the next hour? Like, walk to a printer. We're, we're in a. We're doing a podcast. What do you mean? I can't take this with me. Can't no, throw I know. This in a backpack. <laughs> what do you want me to do? Well, just before the next podcast, see if you can. Well, do I it. forgot. I will. I promise, I will. I forgot it was a thing. Do this. Spray the fire extinguisher on the floor, and then okay. draw it in the fire <laughs> extinguisher. <view. laughs> yeah, that'll work great. And maybe Jeff and I were playing a duel with our notes. I could have done it before <laughs> we recorded, but we're in a fucking duel. Flim flam or something like what, that. You mean, would, you, would you go razzle dazzle like that? that? I don't think so. No, he wore he wore a. I'm like rolling a yellow my audio because this this is all just great. Uh, I've been rolling as well. Yeah. Oh, oh okay. A Andrew, you I rolling? Guess, no, I wasn't. Crank up the fire extinguisher, Andrew. It's hey, it's good to go. I'm rolling. <laughs> <Sorry. laughs> Andrew, can you by any chance can you fire your fire extinguisher? Can you use it right now? No. Well, yeah. I mean, I could, but no, I'm not going to. Why would I? Do <laughs> it would sound really good. It would yeah, sound like. There is no coming back from that. What a perfect this, the podcast start. is done. What a perfect start to a, an episode of f Face than f facing your desk and everything that holds up the equipment you need to I'm make it. I'm still in my blanket fort. I would ruin my sheets. <laughs> they would be real bad. We can't. What, what, it would be over. What I'm hearing is is the damage would be contained to within inside the safety of no, the No, you have not seen a fire extinguisher go off if you think that's containing it. It is like a bomb. <laughs> it just goes everywhere. Eric, this is what happens when when we get here before you. I'm, I'm going to blame you entirely for this. Yeah. However, if you do hashtag face with the asterisks, that doesn't work at all. No. It, the asterisks uh, end the hashtag at F. So all you actually get is hashtag F and then a bunch of letters that don't <laughs> link anything together. It's 
a, a worse name than I even thought originally. <laughs> oh, it's, it's a incredible. perfect. It's a perfect Twitter f face. Yeah. <laughs> You're facing yourself by trying to reference it with a hashtag. It can't be done. Andrew, okay. if you just if you just give the fire extinguisher a squeeze, we can crack on with the episode. Nah, I'm not happening. Okay. Unless I mean maybe episode no, nah, not even, I'm not going to promise anything. That's a real problem. Fire extinguishers are a real problem. No, no Andrew. Not. Okay. <laughs> they solve problems. No, they uh, if, if you do it recreationally, it's a real problem. <laughs> How do you know? Do you speak of experience? I watched a reality show recently where the guy fired a fire extinguisher in a room and it was a fucking disaster. It went everywhere, suffocated the people. Let me counter that argument with an argument that I know for a fact Gavin will support. Okay. I have seen every episode and film of Jackass multiple, multiple times. Nobody ever died from a fire extinguisher, but every, t about? every time one went off, it was hilarious. It was always Why are worthwhile. You why are you trying to convince me by saying I'm going to make a statement that Gavin will agree with? Because Gavin I agree, agrees I with. I agree with that. I agree but with that. That doesn't matter. I'm the one that doesn't agree. You're not. You're swaying <laughs> Gavin. Hey, dude, the point is majority rules. It's two to one. You don't have a choice. Well, why don't you fucking buy a fire extinguisher and fire it? You start. Well, that doesn't help us right now. Are no, you worried well, that it's, it's going to break something? It's going to shoot every. It's going to hit my computer. It's going to hit you, boxes. No, you just need to give it a little puff. Yeah. There's just no a little sneeze. <laughs> I don't. Like, I think four, it's like four percent pressure. I don't. How would I know what that even looks like? I've never fired one. Well, don't floor it. Don't like. I know, don't trust it. myself. Don't. Okay. Yeah. Don't it treat it like a Lamborghini. Look, I'm not going to I'm not going to force you into this. I'm just saying it would sound amazing and it would I be don't... absolutely no effort for Jeff or myself. <laughs> That's that. That is. I I get that logic. I yeah. can support that fully. Andrew, yes. will will you take a new photo of your bedroom fort and and as uh as your recording space exists today in this episode? And also, uh, do you have uh photos of the fire extinguisher set up? Right. Uh yeah. Okay. I do. When when we eventually do like f face baseball cards or something, I think those will be uh th those would be <laughs> oh, rarities. Those are we, must. We <laughs> gotta include those. That was unclear. <laughs> Thank you very much. That's true. I won't, I won't argue that. <laughs> do you guys have any suggestions for the store? Uh, I think Brad, you haven't brought up a great Ga point. Gav, I don't think you and I are allowed to comment. <laughs> so yeah, I'd probably you. stay out of it. Uh, maybe I could. What? Prod product suggestion. I mean, I see okay. there's five product, pro products. But, mm -hmm. um, a sixth one might be a fire extinguisher with the f face logo on it. Oh. Uh. Can I just sell a boring company? F oh, then I wouldn't have a pop filter holder. Uh, I don't know if that's worth it. Can we can we settle on you firing the fire extinguisher if we make it to fifty two episodes? If we make it to um, well, what are the rules? You just blo like after a year of f facing, you you fire the fire extinguisher off, you send it off, and then you, we will replace it with a mic stand. I just need a clap sync. No. <laughs> Do we all have to clap at once? Hey, yeah, all here, at once. I'm gonna count down. I'm I'm gonna say three, two, one. Then I'll then we'll clap. And that's this is still in the show, clap. by the way. This is no, still it's in. not in the show. Yeah. No, yeah, no, no, no. This is, if we're recording, the right, show this is, ends. This is the show ends on the, the clap. Show. All right, we got this. Okay, ready? Okay, here yeah. we go. Three, two, one, go. Three. No, hang on. Three, two, one. I hit my. I hit my extinguisher. I expected to go. You Three, didn't, you didn't two, one, go. clap. Okay. This is all, you know when you play like exactly. by you is something that if it were to happen would be good content. How about instead of going through this uh, big legal ordeal, we just switch your little forfeit of the bet to something different. For example, setting off your fire extinguisher. That sounds mm. like someone who thinks they'll lose because they know they're uh, in the wrong. So no, I, I don't think I need to compromise at all. I'm trying to give you an easy out. I'm trying to open a new door for you here. I don't need yeah. any other doors. A, a door of honor. The door of truth and honor <laughs> is very easy to go through. I'm already there. I got my hand on the knob. We're just securing the details. To Andrew, this. you're going to have to go through a door or you're going to eat one. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking the other day, Andrew is the person I've known the longest, 
but in a ratio I know the least about. I know absolutely nothing about your day to day, your living situation. I, I don't know anything. I know that you sit next to a fire extinguisher once a week. That's about it for like how you live. Still in a blanket fort. <laughs> Everything else is a mystery to me. I assume you live like Jimmy Stewart in Rear Window. You just sit in a chair with a tartan blanket around you next to a fire extinguisher <laughs> and look out the window hoping to catch homeless women peeing. Do you think, Andrew, a, a good gift would be a telescope so that you could see the pee closer? No. Yeah, like no, binoculars. I no, I don't do that. I'm good. Dude, Jimmy Stewart was a badass. There are worse people to be compared to. I'm not... Com <laughs> My complaint wasn't <laughs> with being compared to Jimmy Stewart. My issue was with, once again, the continued narrative that I have an obsession of watching homeless women pee. And that I need a telescope for it. I, I was not arguing the Jimmy Stewart point, Jeff. Oh, you don't you don't need the telescope? I don't I, I don't do it, so I don't need a telescope for anything. I'm not really into looking into the sky. I can't believe you're turning down a free telescope here. Uh, it's yeah. a cool piece of kit. They're expensive. Yeah. Think of all the fun stuff you could do with them. What would be the fun stuff I could do with them, Jeff? I you could probably figure out a way to burn ants from your bedroom. That's cool. Wait, how? I don't know, like with refraction, right? So wait, the telescope that's in his apartment you think the sun is in there with him and he can focus he's got a window gavin he could hang it out the window put it on a pole you know <laughs> attach the pole to a c clamp dude the guy he lives in a pillow fort supported by i assume sofa cushions and a fire extinguisher that's just pretty convoluted he'd be better off throwing a molotov cocktail out the window if he wanted to burn an ant <laughs> <laughs> this seems very extreme okay I have my own issue. I have my own tech. I have some problems. I was talking to Jeff about this. I know we're running a little long, but I need Eric's guidance on this. I need okay. producer Eric to tell me what I need to do. I'm in a real jam here. So I got a new recording setup and I have a mic stand. I have a roadie <laughs> mic arm. I so my did not desk... want to help you last night. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't help me at all. I know. So I, know I didn't like, try to. You implied, you implied your implication that you did. You're useless. No, I was just you like, I, I was just like, everything you said, I was like, yeah, that sucks. Oh, that's rough. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> that's annoying. My, my desk is both too thick for it to attach to it, but not long enough for me to make it work. So I'm going to set a photo example. His desk is I've, too thick and shallow. I've, Yes, I have a too thick, too shallow desk. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with that. That was my initial problem. Oh, so you have like a keyboard shelf. I have, yeah, I have, I have and, a. Well, it's just and the, the arm is desk. bashing into it. No, I pulled. No, that is literally just for a shelf. I pulled the shelf out to try to, or or a, a cupboard. What what's the word I'm looking? For? A drawer is the word you looking drawer. for. A drawer that is that should be a drawer. Yes, that is the word I was looking for. That should be my <laughs> desk drawer. I pulled the drawer out of the desk to try to put the thing in. It's too thick. It's too <laughs> thick for the, the the part to get in, but it's not long enough for me to make it work. What do I do? What's the solution here? Get a different is, kind of stand. Is there another, kind of clamp? Is there anywhere else on the desk that you could How, make that work? That's what, literally what, the only spot. Yeah, well, it's the whole thing. It's the consistent thickness. Throw it everywhere. I could try to side. See, like, if you look at the side, my desk is way longer than the, the thing. It's the only entry point I have would be removing a drawer. And then have you tried in. maybe clamping the mic to a fire extinguisher? Uh, <laughs> you know, that wouldn't help, unfortunately. I'm just going to show you. This is my initial solution. I tried to make this work. Because I thought, like, well, how would it be different? But the amount of times I'm throwing my hands in the air while one of you two are saying something, it's constant. Yeah. It's like an absurd <laughs> really? statement. Yeah. I, I honestly, I picture you sat in your chair completely motionless because no. I always think that you're worried that some sort of fire extinguisher will fall over on you. Or <laughs> Fire extinguisher is away. I don't think I ever talked about the fire extinguisher is so sticky now. I never want to touch it again. I'm so glad we have a new setup. <laughs> it got drenched in soda. It was a whole thing. <laughs> it was a disaster. How did it get drenched? I got myself a treat. Have you guys ever had Canada Dry Cranberry Ginger Ale? Yes. No. It's fantastic. It's good. It's one of my favorites. It's a really good ginger ale. Canada Dry, fantastic ginger ale. But I got it as a treat. I got a plastic bottle. I'm like, I'm going to enjoy this. I opened it, I had one sip, I put it on my desk, I dropped something, and like all the cables flew off my desk, and the Canada Dry went flying like the fucking greatest wide receiver of all time. I caught it one-handed mid-air while it was moving, and I was so proud of myself, I'm like, I saved the fucking soda, this is amazing. 
I didn't have the lid fully tightened. So then it just fizzed from the impact and the movement and then hitting my hand. It like shook the soda. <laughs> it fizzed up. And for two seconds, I just stood there as it was like, a, I, I don't even like a fountain. Like it was just shooting soda everywhere in a circular pattern. Um, what are those things called on the on your ceiling? Fan. <laughs> Fan. No light. <laughs> That's water. They shoot water for fires. Gavin, you've made a video. Sprinkler. On Fire extinguisher. Sprinkler. <laughs> <laughs> That's the word I was looking for. Are they called sprinklers if they're in the sky? Yeah. What do you mean if they're in the sky? If they're on the roof, I feel like they have a different name. I feel like there's a fancier fire name. Oh, like a sprunkler? <laughs> no, nah, exactly. A sprunkler. I think it's a sprinkler. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> it like a sprinkler shot in all directions, and I just had to stand there and, and like look at it as it happened. There's nothing I could do. I think there was probably a few things you could have done. <laughs> no, in the moment, Jeff, this was like a bam, bam. Like it was a second and a half. There's no time to react. You just had to stare. I guess technically I could have twisted the cap, but it was this is very quick, Jeff. You would not be prepared for this. Which way up were you storing this kind of to dry? It was up. It was a plastic bottle. It was not. Uh, that's a Heinz joke. I get it. I went with the <laughs> label. It went up. It went all over the fire extinguisher and then you didn't wipe it? No. <laughs> no, it got <laughs> everywhere. Can I just say as an aside, that was a pretty funny minute. Good job. Thanks. That was good, actually. Yeah. Yeah. It was a good minute. It went everywhere, Gavin. So I'm not going to clean the fire extinguisher. It hit the fridge. It, it coated the side of my body. It went all over the floor. <laughs> the entire thing fizzed out of the bottle. I got one sip out of it. That's it. And now my fire extinguisher is kind of purpley pinkish and it's very sticky. I never want to touch. It sounds like because uh, I feel like you would have mentioned it otherwise. It sounds like all of that happened without you rolling your ankle. No, yeah, I was in a chair. I'm safe. Um, my ankle is only at risk when <laughs> laying in bed or making any other form of movement. Jesus. <laughs> in a chair, I'm secure. Jesus. <laughs> what were we talking about, though? How did we get here? Well, we were a little bit talking about you coming here, but I was worried that okay. you'll get hurt. Yeah. Oh, I definitely will. Can I talk about the disaster? You're having a great time, Jeff. I have... I don't even... Okay. So, I get my setup ready. Jeff posts in the Discord, I have something I want to talk about before we start. I'm always here like 20 minutes early, so I was like, great, I can talk to Jeff. I'll have somebody to talk to. I put my thing in, I set everything up, nothing's working, can't figure out why, so I'm like, I don't know, maybe there's like a, a USB port issue. So I go to like adjust the USB port on my computer. I knock my computer over. It <laughs> knocks my monitor over. It knocks over my cup of water that is like a liter. Fire and everything extinguisher falls goes off flying. My desk. Everything goes flying. I have a giant puddle on my floor. I have to clean everything up. I still don't know what the issue is. <laughs> I go through all this shit. We're going back and forth for like 10 minutes trying to figure out what was wrong. The issue was I plugged my microphone into, I think, the second mic slot. I think that's what caused all this. <laughs> <laughs> we, but we don't want to do it on camera right now. Oh, that's, that's kind of you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, anyway, Andrew was telling me that we're, we were talking about how we're uh, almost at the one-year anniversary of the show, uh, or at least the 52-episode anniversary of the show. And he was saying that he was really excited uh, that for the anniversary, he wants to fire off his fire extinguisher. He was trying to figure out ways to do it safely. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, I figured it'd be like a cool, exciting thing that was going to be a surprise at the time. But now I guess we'll just talk about it because I brought what, it up. What, what do you mean reason. safely? Like you don't want to inhale it? Yeah, well, no, I don't want it to shoot all over my apartment. I don't want it to be a thing I have to clean up because they can really spread. They can be a nightmare from what I've seen. So do you want to talk about? Well, first off, if you don't want to talk about this, we can. No, 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 no. We can, we, we we've already gone so far. We could also bl we could also just beep that whole part out. No, no, we could just, just like talk three about it. So my, I'd be curious to hear if Gavin had any ideas on how to accomplish this or maybe people would know a better way to do this. Just shut your eyes and hope for the best. No, that's not. I could do that any day. That doesn't solve any <laughs> problems. You're just explaining firing the extinguisher. I mean, you've cleaned up worse. You had to clean up an upside down bowl full of cupcake. I really don't. I, re I mean, that was an easy clean. It landed on the towel. <laughs> <laughs> you, cleaned it, you cleaned it with your damn mouth is why it was easy. No, no, yeah. no, no. <laughs> This is an exception. And Pam and a waffle bomb. The Pam, the waffle bomb is gone. Here's what I was gonna say, Andrew. Here's what I think you should do. I do, I do. Uh, I appreciate Gavin just saying close your eyes and hope for the best. But I think you need to. I need. I think you need to prepare for a contingency. 
Uh, it is going to make a bit of a mess. That's not a reason not to do it. In fact, I would argue it's a reason to do it. Mm. However, I think you need to allow yourself some uh, uh, some plausible deniability. So here, let me construct a scenario <laughs> for you. Okay. Okay. We want to set off the fire extinguisher. We want to mitigate the amount of cleanup and damage. And we need to have a good exit story in case things go sideways. And the mm -hmm. police or the fire department gets called out for what they think is some sort of a fire-related emergency. The so police. here's what we do. Here's what we do. We don't know what's going to happen. Here's what we do. Crank up the hot dog warmer okay. in the closet. Go in, <laughs> shut the door, set off the fire extinguisher in the closet. That should eliminate most of the mess. But if for some reason the power is so strong it blows the door off or whatever and it causes some sort of a <laughs> catastrophe, you can always tell the police or the fire department, I, my, my hot dog machine caught on fire and I was trying to put it out. Okay. So your solution is to add a fire hazard to make it more valid. It doesn't really yes. prevent any yes. damage. Yes. Because it, it gives him an out. It gives him a story out, which is what he's going to need. Sure. An out from the police. Who will be deployed, yeah. obviously, who, to any squeeze of a fire extinguisher. God, whatever, whoever, whatever public... I don't know how it works in Canada. Whoever shows up to help. It's not in public, though, is it? He's not, no. he's not blasting it in a supermarket. I don't know what you want. No. But he's in an apartment complex. It sounds like Eric says it sounds like I might not know how it works in America either. I don't mean cops, cops. I just mean, like, EMS, whoever. <laughs> whoever <laughs> comes <laughs> when there's a problem. <laughs> The other day when Andrew's fire alarm went off, sirens showed up. We heard it. It was on the fucking podcast. Whoever drove that siren, that's who I'm preparing for. It. That's a fire alarm. For pressing a fire extinguisher doesn't have anything to do with the alarm. Who knows what could happen? <laughs> a bunch of white dust goes everywhere. That's what happens. That's it. Yeah, I, I don't know if there's a chemical, though, in the stuff that would activate the alarm. It's who knows? About I don't know. I don't know, like, definitively. I think All it's I know is when you, when you set off a fire extinguisher indoors, there are going to be unintended consequences, and you need to protect yourself with an out. That's all I'm saying. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I feel like that's not really... I'm just explaining how it happened in that case, and I don't know if that's even a less dumb of way. It's just... An, I feel like just saying it was a bit on a podcast is more reasonable than the whole do hot dog scenario that you're laying out. Uh, I guess, but then you're then you're basically saying I did this f as a meme or a lull, and uh, if there if there's any if there's any cost incurred, I would assume you would be. Uh, responsible. I don't feel like that changes with your story, though. In any way, I don't think there would be hot dog sympathy for. I think there would be hot me. dog sympathy. I think there would be hot dog. I think anytime anytime a house catches on fire from a, a wacky appliance <laughs> or something, they're not that that's their sympathy for that. I don't want any mess though. I don't like I don't want it it has to be clean. It has that's to be a clean shot. That's contained closet probably. Probably is a key word and also like if I fire it in the closet, I'm not going to pick it up on mic. It has to be at my desk or else I well I I guess I could I don't think I could move my setup. My setup is very set. It's not you portable. You just film it on your phone. Yeah. Uh, yeah, my phone. <laughs> I'm going to you... film it on my phone. You remember that video oh, yeah. I sent you, Gavin? I'm going to film yeah. it on my phone. It's a great idea. A fucking postage stamp of a video. Everyone will enjoy. I sent Gavin, my, my phone's a piece of shit, and I sent Gavin a video off of it because something happened in a game, like a glitch. And it, I don't know what happened, but it sent Gavin the photo. It was the size of a postage stamp. It was completely unviewable. It was like 60 pixels wide or something. <laughs> it was insane. But I just put something in the mail, Andrew. You did. And maybe that problem won't be a thing anymore. That's a, a weird, you said that in a threatening way, even though I know it's a nice <laughs> gesture. Uh, I immediately think of like jingle all the way with the bomb pack. Like none of the, like, someone says I sent you something in the mail. I don't know. There's a there's a tone to that. <laughs> I sent you something nice. You know, you I, I think I got to take umbrage with you, too. You're criticizing me for telling Andrew to overcomplicate theatrically his fire extinguisher when Andrew's life mission is to overcomplicate things. Um, I feel like I feel like you're pointing a lens at me that you never point inwardly at yourself or that Gavin points at you. I think you're, that's a totally fair thing. I think a lot of the overcomplication comes, though, in the moment of anxiety and panic. It's not calculated a lot of the time, I'd say. Mm, that would be a I very see. calculated plan. Or, like, if the plan is calculated, it's to make less effort for myself. And that what you're describing is more effort. 
Yeah, I put less effort than going and collecting a bunch of Chinese food menus and then placing them around a neighborhood just so you that's can get close point. to a house to pick up a package. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's anxiety, less effort. Yeah, no, you're right. That's fair. That would, you're right. Okay. I would. Do, yeah, no, I was wrong. <laughs> it falls in the category. I just don't think it's effective is the problem. I don't see how I'm helping myself with your thing in any way. That's totally fair. I was just trying to give you some sort of a dignified out that's not like, so you don't end up on the news as oh, like I appreciate local, it. local podcaster all, you know, triggers fire alarms <laughs> since half of Vancouver <laughs> Island for, for internet bit, you know? That, that's more of a story than like, what was there a fire to truck sent out? Oh, uh, yeah, there was like some sort of a problem with a, with a fucking, with a toaster or something. They go, oh, okay, whatever. I think it would be Garfield Legend Falls, considering the last time I was in the paper. I think it would be a follow-up. <laughs> Garfield Legend Falls, there you go. <laughs> How many different reasons could you end up in the paper? Uh, I, I mean, it's limitless, I think. It's not hard. I feel like the it's fire really alarm easy. one is super easy. That's one of the easiest ways to get in the paper. <laughs> yeah, I mean, but I could go a, a lot, a lot lower. I think as uh, long as sure. you blast this thing in a room that doesn't have a smoke detector, like a bathroom... A room that's used to steam and particulates, mm. cupcakes. Just do it in there. It will give you a great excuse to clean no, your no, bathroom no, no, as no, well. No, 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 I'm not. I'm not firing it without a cover. Like I need something to slip out. I need some way to absorb the mess. You need a big top. Mm. I need a yeah. Well, like I said oh. to Jeff, my idea was to duct tape a bunch of trash bags to the nozzle. But then when I explained <laughs> that to somebody, <laughs> they fire said it into a bag. <laughs> Yeah, I was just going to fire it into a bunch of trash bags. They said either the, the bag would blow out at the end, like from the force of the pressure, or where I taped would not hold and it would just shoot off and then go everywhere. Yeah, I think you need a very big bag because it's compressed into that, you know, metal container. How, how about this? Do you have a neighbor that you hate? No. Oh. Do you have a neighbor that you don't know very well that you'd like to get to know? All of them. Okay. Well, here's, here's what you do. If you want to mitigate mess on your end, let's do this. Uh, wait for a neighbor to go to work. Then uh, you know they're not home. And then we'll just take it into the hallway and we'll stick the nozzle under their door. We set okay. it off that way. And then uh, uh, you just go back to your room. And uh, we, we could maybe stick like a, try to stick like a, like a little pin camera under there so we can kind of see the I, mess. But anyway, mm -hmm. and then uh, just be out in the hallway later and be like, when the guy or lady is getting off work and just be like, it's a crazy day. There was all kinds of noise and all kinds of weird stuff. They open up their door. And they're like, oh, did it happen to you too? Weird. Happened to me. Let me help you clean it up. And then you can go in and you can videotape the, the mess. And, uh, and then we'll get to see that. <laughs> I like this idea more. Je the fire alarm went off today. Uh, there you go. In, in my place. I think you're right. I just need to. But it, it wouldn't line up. What are the odds it lines up? I mean, we've been pretty lucky with things. So that'd be insanely lucky if it lines up with that episode <laughs> recording. <laughs> well, I just run out of here in the middle of the recording and just start firing a fire extinguisher <laughs> everywhere just to like. Make sure everything's good. I was helping. Cautionary. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, my God. I have one other thing I need okay. to talk about that I, 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 I'm sorry. Like, this is, I'm, you might be disappointed, especially you, Gavin. I don't know if my fire extinguisher is going to work. Uh oh. Why? Yeah. Well, because I didn't, I didn't realize this, but when you use a fire extinguisher, you got to reach what it. you do. Well, you, you pull the pin and then you use it. You're not supposed to pull the pin until usage time. I pulled the pin the day of our very first recording. So my, <laughs> the fire extinguisher has been armed the entire time. Every well, pin, episode we've done. The pin, it, it just makes it, it, it makes it's a safety. You can squeeze the handle. It's, like, it's just a safety. Yeah. Yeah. But okay. So there's a pressure gauge on my fire extinguisher and it is deep in the red recharge zone. So I think yeah. this entire time. It's just been depressurizing slowly. I'm pretty sure you just got a partially filled or like depleted. I don't think the pin is anything to do with that, though. Yeah, no, he's right. It's fire extinguishers don't maintain a charge forever. You need to get them recharged like at the fire department or some shit pretty like okay. every two years or something. So it probably just lost pressure naturally over time. I see. So me pulling the pin had no effect. No, because that's just like a little cotter okay. pin. That's not doing anything other than stopping you from hitting it accidentally got it okay well i feel less bad about that i yeah. had to pull the pin because it's where i could attach the pop filter onto the thing it's the only part that would work <laughs> and it wouldn't fit with yeah, you the pin to. in there yeah so i had to pull the pin um you know eric brings up a good point 
if it's deep in the red, it's probably not going to work anyway. So you, no, could sque- you, you could squeeze it right now. Yeah, just see the range on it. No, it'll be good no, to no, get a no, benchmark no, no, of like how far no, red goes no, no, no. compared no, to how far green. No, because you can't do it multiple times. You get one shot, and I'm not gonna. Do- I got a whole. True. I, I think what is this is episode true. 48? All right, you got four fucking weeks to figure it out, dude. You got to hit that button in 52. I have a plan. I worked it out already. I have an idea for how to make this work. Okay. Well, you're going to shoot it into a bag, though, aren't you? It's not going to... No, 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 no. Okay. No, I had a, I had a realization. I, I'm not going to spoil it, but I have, I have a way that I think this will work. Okay. And I need to put it together, but it's, it's, I have a thought. You have a... I don't see how this could fail. You have a, contra- a, a contraption you're going to construct. Uh, a thing will need to be built. Yeah. Yes. I'm God. trying to, but judged off like previous f- face bits, I'm trying uh-huh. to decide whether or not I'm going to get excited about this or not. Uh. Am I going to get my hopes up about this or is it going to be a salad cream? That's what I'm trying to figure out. I guess what I'm trying to figure out is, well, I feel confident and that you feel one way about it and then just edit yourself out of it later. <laughs> That's where my head is at with it. I can only control me. <laughs> four weeks four episodes do you, do you think there's a group of friends somewhere where none of them are funny <laughs> uh, i think i think i think there's a lot of groups of friends that think they're funny hmm. i wonder if there's just like a, a group of close friends who just never laugh and never have a good time and, oh and at that yeah point, do you like just disband the friendship are you just like shit i guess we're not like we're not friends well, how would that even work i think there are people that just aren't Humor is not a big a de- as big a deal to them, hmm. maybe. You know what I mean? Like more serious people. I wonder what that's like. <laughs> it's like fucking boring. I'll tell you what it's not like. It's not like setting off fire extinguishers in your closet <laughs> to hide, you know, fucking burning hot dogs. Sure, it's not. That's, it's that's not, coming up, isn't it? The the big uh, um, um, the big puff of the fire. I'm looking into it. People are talking about how I could suffocate because of the fumes or, or something. Like there seems to oh, be a lot on, of fumes? a lot of health risks. I mean, I, I have I have a plan it, in my head that I just need to I need to like both figure out and like just plan. I mean, carbon dioxide will. I guess you could potentially suffocate, but just open a window. Well, I can't do that because it's going to shoot. Every, like, I need to kind of zone off the idea. I have. Well, what kind of fire extinguisher is it? Is it the foam or is it the powder? Is it the, the CO2? Yeah, I, what I've is got it? no idea. I don't, I'm not even really sure how to tell. Um, it, just, it would say because uh, some of them you're not supposed to use on. <laughs> like, if it's water, <laughs> it's important that you don't spray it on. It's like, a dry chemical <laughs> fire extinguisher. Electricity. I don't know if that's so probably powder. Yeah, I'd assume powder. Mm. That's probably the worst one. Probably. Don't put it in your mouth. <laughs> no. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to oh, another episode God. of What? <laughs> what? I was just adjusting my volume and it was the wrong time. <laughs> oh, what do you mean? And welcome to another episode of the Face Podcast. My name is Jeff Ramsey. Uh, with me, as always, Gavin Free and Andrew Panton. Uh, I think this is episode 50 or so. Does that sound correct? That sounds correct. Are we on 50? I think we are. I think that means big five zero. I think we are two episodes away then from Andrew officially uh, firing off the fire extinguisher. I need to do work for that. I need to figure that out. Have you it's, not figured it's, it's it out yet? You've been figured it out. No, for two weeks. no, 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 no. I have. I have. I know what I need. It's just I need to get stuff to do it. It's it's a complex plan. Okay. How can we help? How can we help? Uh, absolutely no way. There's nothing can you I, can do to help. Can I Google Map you directions to your local fire station? I'll do it. Uh, no, no, it's good. I know where it is. I'm familiar with okay. it. Okay. Right. I double checked that already. We're good. Well, you've got, uh, you're on notice, buddy. You've got two weeks to figure it out. Oh, I have it figured out. It's just, it's a lot of work. It's going to take a lot of work. I need a gas mask. I need a whole bunch of stuff. <laughs> There's a lot of prep required to do this. And I'm excited to pull it and just nothing come out. Just He's zero pressure left. Mask. I, I mean, do. I need a gas mask. Why don't you just go and grab a fresh one? What do you mean just go and grab I'm not going to buy a new fire where am I going to go what do you mean buy a fire extinguisher Yeah well like 50 bucks down a Yeah I'm not going to fucking pay 50 bucks We've What's got the budget point? now don't we Eric don't I have do it. 50 I'm bucks for a don't. fire extinguisher What's the point The point is you don't have a working fire extinguisher in your house yeah. and you need one and yeah, you, you paid a thousand dollars for a pink porta potty, asshole. This is gonna save your life. 
Well, so that was that took a big dent out of the budget. Gavin okay, is a... going to d- donate a fire extinguisher to you. I have a feeling. Oh, I'll I'll get you one. Yeah. No, I I, can I don't. Get I'm you not stuff. gonna. No. Um, why would I get a different? The whole point is it was the part of the show. This one. <laughs> It's not just any fire extinguisher. Yeah, but we don't want a f- limp fire extinguisher going off, do we? I feel like a limp fire extinguisher is a perfect like fit for this show. I, I think it symbolizes this It's like the tagline for the first year of the <laughs> <Yeah>. show. <laughs> oh, I see one here. $64. That's not bad. That's not bad for protecting your seems life. High. We need to oh, figure man. out what we haven't resolved is what we need to do. I Henry feel like there are a bunch of loose threats. Oh, oh wow. It's early this week. Yeah. Henry, uh, Henry found, I hid the owl, Henry found the owl, and he is going to town. <laughs> Jesus. The problem is, you don't take a t- uh, an owl away from a, a full-sized bulldog, English bulldog. Mm-hmm. That's fair. Yeah. Yeah. He, uh, yeah. It's a good rule. He would win that fight. The thing is, Andrew, if you get a fresh fire extinguisher, you can choose the type. You can choose a less deadly type. Mm. Yeah, but I don't know what that, first of all... I feel like I'm going to take flight if I do a fresh fire extinguisher. I'm scared of the pressure. It you're not like Sandra really Bullock in gravity. No, I, you're not, it's- I'm, so- <laughs> I'm worried about it. <laughs> I don't know. I've seen a fresh fire extinguisher go off. I, I don't want that in my life. I kind of hope. If you got like a wooden or laminate floor and you're on a, I don't. on a chair with wheels, then maybe you'll get a bit of opposite direction going on. But I actually would, if I had space, I would definitely do that. I don't think <laughs> my plan, it would work out. How far do you think I could get with a fire extinguisher? <laughs> oh, easily, chair? like, across the room. You could yeah. hit the other wall. No, but, like, could I, if I, okay, if I was in a chair, if I was in a chair with wheels, what's the furthest distance I could travel, you think, with the basic? I wonder how far I could get. Well, now, is it like? Do you mean like just have it hammered down the whole time, or you just no, no, no? It like once? I can do what I want, like very much, like Sandra Bullock and Gravity. <laughs> I could time my presses, but I don't know if a fire extinguisher works that way. I feel like it's kind of like one go. No, it's no. It, you let go and it stops. Yeah, yeah, but I, don't, I mean, obviously, I don't think it will you can have pump it. it will have less pressure the second time you fire it, but it'll still have a lot of pressure until it's done. I, I don't know. I think you should try this. Then get back to me on the results. Have you never used one before? No, no, I've never used a fire extinguisher before. Okay. Only f- as a mic or pop filter stand. That's the only use <laughs> I've ever had. Do you know? Do you know what's really exciting about this conversation? What is? You're not gonna be able to say that in two weeks ever again. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> I'm really good at disappointing the audience, Jeff. That's so true. We'll, we'll just we'll find out what happens. Two fifty-five. We were talking about Yorkies. What? That wasn't the podcast, surely. I'm pretty sure it was. It's still I, recording. I don't know when we started, but we definitely yeah, started. Okay. What, what episode is this? 51, I believe, right? 51. That means next week, oh. the fire extinguisher. Uh, I oh, need to, maybe, me. possibly. Ooh. You've had so many weeks to be like, oh, I've got to work stuff out. i got to work stuff I, out. Yeah, I do. i got to buy things, Gavin. It's not easy. Why don't you <laughs> fucking launch a fire extinguisher if it's so easy? You deal with it. <laughs> You own the place you live in. It would make more sense for you to do it than me. What do you mean? You're well, really aggressive. It's, it's, no, it's uh, well, I'm getting fucking harassed about fire extinguishers. We're however many minutes into this podcast. I'm just worried about next week coming around and suddenly you're like, oh, something didn't arrive because I waited until yesterday to order a fire extinguisher catcher bag. I know. I need a lot of things. You don't understand the, the level of elaborate it would take for me to set this up. I need Wood ladders. or will? Wood or will? Well, uh, we'll find is out. Word, is the word I guess you we'll use. find out next week. I guess we'll find out next week. Do you need hey, some chow mein? Do I need chow mein? I could always use some chow mein. <laughs> There's no scenario that becomes worse with the addition of chow mein. I want to see a fire extinguisher that shoots chow mein. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> like pressurized chow mein. That's one step up from the, from the Keurig with the noodles. Yeah. <laughs> if you could put anything in a fire extinguisher that wasn't for extinguishing fires, what would you put in it? What'd be your go-to item? Whipped cream. Whipped cream? Whipped cream. Yeah. Whipped cream already comes out of a pressurized can. I know yeah. it's fucking awesome, and I eat it straight. <laughs> I straight, eat it straight out of the can three or four times a day. So imagine if I don't have to. If like if I have a mega sized, I'm not looking for a fire extinguisher that shoots anything. I'm looking for a whipped cream, a whipped cream can, the size of a fire extinguisher that I can put in my fridge. It has a nozzle that I can, so because it's heavy, right? You don't want to lift it up. So you get it wedged in there, and then you have the the little nozzle. You can like fucking snake it out of the out of the uh, out of the fridge. <laughs> 
That's the get... answer of like an eight year old child. That's yeah. like big. That's like the kid becomes Tom Hanks. <laughs> he gets a vending machine and a trampoline and a giant can of whipped cream. <gasps> yeah. How about you guys? Come up with something better than that. I don't. Well, what do you typically put whipped cream on? Uh, I put it on my <laughs> mouth, man. <laughs> I just like oh. You try to fill a hot chocolate, like just top it off and all the liquid shoots out because you're just blasting <laughs> it at full speed. Like it wouldn't, it's not practical in any way. I love it. You just have a cup that used to have hot chocolate and a bunch of brown <laughs> shit everywhere. I probably do something really disturbing, like blood or something. Like my, my Ew, blood. That's horrifying. Yeah, like, Who's like blood? Need, well, because <laughs> I was thinking of something that would be weird, but also useful in an emergency. So if my blood was in it what? and I needed a transfusion, I could be like, get that fire extinguisher. <laughs> it is fill, you fill, in some, it. fill some cups. <laughs> Open wide. <laughs> but the splash would be, it would be traumatic to look at afterwards. <laughs> I don't think that's how blood transfusion works. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that'd be at all helpful. I need a lot of blood, and I need it in me all at once. <laughs> yeah, don't worry. We don't need we don't need to transfuse anything. I have this fire extinguisher of my own blood. It's just yeah. been, you feel free. It, just it's use so it. powerful. It just shoots blood <laughs> into your skin. <laughs> that's horrifying. <laughs> I like Jeff's way better. But useful. No, it's not useful. There's no way in which there's no scenario that's useful. How long does blood keep under, under pressure? <laughs> okay, it is oh useful. And, and here's why. When I was in the army, uh, which I realized was a long, long time ago, <laughs> and technology's probably changed. But when I was in the army and we went through basic training, we had to get a battery of vaccines and shots, right? Like, this is before the world was scared of vaccines again for a while. And it was like, I had to get measles, mumps, rubella, uh, t uh, yellow fever, typhoid, t tetanus, all this stuff, right? Like, and every time I had to go anywhere, I'd have to get 37 more shots, too. They'd be like, you need a malaria 7 shot. And I'm like, but I got one through six last week. And they're like, well, you're going to a malaria 7 uh, region. <laughs> God damn it. Right? It was just constant shots in the military. But in basic training, they used this thing that was, instead of having to deal with needles and stuff, they just had this gun that shot pressurized medicine into you shit like a pressure hose like it's really powerful yeah it was like a pressure needle and they would tell you like if you move you will slice your arm open because it'll just cut through you but if you hold perfectly still it'll just it's just like a needle just Whoa. like zoop, hurts the same feels the same but uh it's just like it's just like fucking pressurized so you could do something like that where you shot a bunch of pressurized blood into you all at once. There you go. I just put an adapter on the end of the fire extinguisher, make it <laughs> sort of needle wits straight yeah. in. Don't even have to wash it. I can give everyone my blood back to back. That sounds perfect. That is. Got to take it down to the fire department and get it recharged every six months. <laughs> <laughs> just got to sit and drip into it <laughs> for about eight hours. <laughs> oh. Eric says fire. I mean, that's good. I mean, it's, yeah, it's a good one. I think I'd want like peanut butter. Maybe jam. Peanut butter. Yeah. Like a thing. I don't know. I it feels like. I don't see how that would come out well. I hate using a knife just to spread peanut butter. It feels like a waste for cleaning it. You know that scene in, in Jurassic Park where um, Newman from Seinfeld gets like yeah. gacked on by the, the dinosaur. Uh -huh. He like hits him in the chest. I assume the peanut butter would come out like that in just like <laughs> thick yeah. balls. I, I have a lot of. I interact with peanut butter pretty significantly in my life on a day-to-day -day basis uh, in that I have to give dogs medicine with peanut butter every day and then I make a smoothie for my daughter typically with peanut butter in it and then I eat I have my own jar of peanut well it's for me and the dogs but wait I eat just peanut butter out of the jar with a spoon because that's gross uh, that's why it's just for me and the dogs, uh, so I don't taint any other humans with it. But I, I gotta say, man, because of how much peanut butter I eat, I clean up a lot of peanut butter, and peanut butter is a fucking mess. And I can't, I, I don't think you would want it pressurized and sprayed anywhere. It's a nightmare to clean up. I also worry how it would separate in the canister because it gets, mm. sometimes the oil gets its own layer and you might just throw oil at something. It's like when Bernie would always buy that fancy peanut butter that's supposed to be better but it really just makes oh, you Oh, the work. stuff that's like real? It's made from yeah. just smashed he's like, peanuts. He's like, hold up a second, you guys want some healthy peanut butter? Give me 30 minutes to, to fucking sit here and, what do you call it? Stir it? Yeah, stir. <laughs> yeah. I forgot the word stir. I had a I had a butter churn stuck in my head and I was uh -huh. trying to think of the word churn. <laughs> I don't know why. And then stir was out the window. Ugh. Little, we went a little long in the beginning. <laughs> listen, but you got there. Listen, listen, you little foreign dick. 
<laughs> Which one are you talking to? Yeah, I don't know. I'm talking to the more annoying of the two of you. <laughs> and everybody knows who that is. That's just mean. You need to stop deflecting and set off the goddamn fire extinguisher that we've been waiting for for 52 fucking weeks. I think he's wow. talking about you now. That was a big pivot by Jeff. That was, a, that was an interesting play by him. This is trying to get away from the DMV talk? I disagree with you. I don't think that everybody on Earth knows that the, D the DMV is a know. universal thing. That and then even if it does, then there's a whole other layer of this that we have to get into, Andrew, that I'm not talking to normal people. I'm talking to you. I can't presuppose that you understand anything about how anything in society works because you are an anomaly. He's got you there. That's a fair point. I can't argue. That. So I have to explain shit. I know what the DMV is. Everybody knows what the DMV is. <laughs> it fucking sounds like it. <laughs> Should we just put up a Twitter poll? Like, what's the DMV? <laughs> what does that stand for, Andrew? Department of Motor Vehicles. Okay, there you go. It sounds like you're, you're very well versed. I've I apologize for the beginning of my story. It was a waste to explain to such learned and sophisticated individuals as yourselves how a DMV works. I will not make that mistake. Oh, no! The apology was not directed towards Eric Badur, so he can, accept, he can take that apology, accept it, and shove it up his butthole. It was just to you two. Oh, no. I got some bad news. Go ahead. Well, Jeff was fucking yelling at me about, oh, wait, I'm 52. Everyone's waiting for this fire extinguisher. I got it fucking prepped. I had it organized. I was ready to go. I'll show you what I made. It's unprepped? I can't show you what I made because the <laughs> I took a photo of it, and then it, <laughs> it, the phone died. We're back to the beginning. I'll, I'll send a photo later. <laughs> I came up with an idea. Yeah, go ahead. Are, what, we need to film. Are, are you not filming this? No. Do no. you not have a, like a video camera no. filming it? No, I, 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 I built the thing. Wait, wait, we're just all going to sit here and listen to it? You can just play yeah. a sound effect, you lazy bastard. <laughs> what, what, what do you want? This is a fucking audio podcast. What do you want from me? A little bit of su supplemental content for the socials. We never talked about the supplemental content. Oh my god, this is what a show this is. <laughs> I think it's universally accepted that that uh, supplemental content is important, and uh, video content of some of such a monumentous occasion would be uh, welcomed. I went through multiple layers of this. Eric, Eric is aware of like my initial idea was how can I do this because it's gonna go everywhere. I'm going to build a kill room like in Dexter was the thing I thought of. I'm just going to plastic off an entire thing. Just keep it a, a completely separate. That was my idea. That's what I was trying to build towards. I never got that done. That seemed like a lot of work. <laughs> that seemed like a lot of work. I couldn't figure out how to tape to the ceiling. It just seemed like a whole process. I couldn't figure out the logistics of building a kill room or you need to cover the roof. So today... Today, I thought, I'm just going to put this in every garbage bag I currently have. <laughs> so, so I dropped it in, I taped it up, and then I just kept Russian dolling it, just more and more garbage. I have it in like 18 garbage bags. So are you just going to reach your hand inside? No, I was just going to squish from, like, it's. I can just do it from the outside. Like through the bags, you're going to squeeze that? Through, on top of the bag, I'm just going to squeeze the handle. Is the pin already out? Pin is out. This pin's been out for a year. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. The problem is, so there are two problems. One, the garbage bag is very big. I had to, like, kind of squeeze out air from the garbage bags just to try to, like, get my hand to a point being able to reach it. <laughs> So while, while Jeff was talking about whatever he was talking about, I was choking out this garbage bag, and uh, <laughs> it doesn't work. <laughs> nothing happened. What do you mean it doesn't work? I pulled the handle, nothing happened. you got an empty fire extinguisher, haven't you? It's drained out. I think all the pressure's gone. <laughs> it's dead. It's almost like we had conversations, uh, I don't know, every fucking week for the past month about how you should take it to your fire department no, no, and get no, it no, recharged no, no, no. because no, no, they no. fucking lose their charge no, 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 over time. No, no, no. I, That's what we... Check I even the tapes. I listened. Check <laughs> the tapes. You said check. I bet it's fine. You said I no, could no, no, check the tapes, dude, dude. I said get a new one. I'm not Dallin, I a new listened one. I, against <laughs> my better win, against my better judgment. I listened to this this week's episode yesterday <laughs> after I said I wasn't going to listen anymore because I wanted to hear what we said about the fire extinguisher. And I'll tell you exactly what we said. I said, "Do you want me to Google?" To help you, do you want me to Google your closest fire ex fire department so you can go down there and get them to recharge it for you? And you said, I know where the fire department is. I got that under control. I can do that. And no, it was, it, <laughs> it, was, it was discussed, but I think there was a consensus that it's fine. It's totally fine. So you're saying that just now, at the end of that story, you just squeezed the fire extinguisher anyway, like without any buildup. 
You just went for it. Well, it was when Jeff was fucking yelling about, oh, waiting all these weeks. And I was oh, like, okay. here it is, motherfucker. And uh, nothing happened. It was just silence. All right. So take it out. There's a gauge on it, surely, like a, a needle. I mentioned it said it was in the recharge zone. And everyone's like, that's oh, oh, fine. God. And everybody said, get it recharged. And I offered to find the fire department to do it at. I know where the fire department is. Then go! <laughs> You need a fire extinguisher. Gavin offered to buy one. He found one online. He said $65. This one seems like a good one. And you he were didn't... like, that seems too expensive. And it's and I was like, it's less expensive than your apartment burning down. You have a cord that makes sparks every time you try and use it. You need this. If anybody we know needs a fire extinguisher, it's you. You need a few of them. I put it in a lot of bags. I'm working on getting it out. <laughs> it's to the point now where I'm not, I'm not ever getting my hopes up about anything we do on this show. <laughs> but that was, that was a real flat ending. That was a real... That was our year celebration. We talked about that Gavin, a year ago. It's almost as if we could have predicted it was happening and we tried to intervene oh, before it happened. Oh, no. Episode after. Oh, no. It did go off. It did go off. I just couldn't hear it. Oh, no. Oh, no. What does that mean? It was silent all over the place. Oh, no. Wait a second. He's recovered it. Wait He's recovered it. <laughs> It never left the first bag when I shrimp. <laughs> it was the oh, only yeah. bag I taped, so I ripped it open and powders everywhere. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> how much? How much powder is there? Let's get a. <laughs> There's a lot of powder. Can we get, <laughs> can we get some descriptions? <laughs> There's too much powder. I gotta, oh no! Where do I take this bag? <laughs> How did you not know it was? I had just th I had, like spurred it. I think <laughs> this is like a little so, spur. So what happens uh, if you squeeze the handle now? Nothing. <laughs> it's, it's done. <laughs> <laughs> so it just coughed, and that was it. Yeah, it was a cough, but it coughed all over the bag, <laughs> and the powder's everywhere. I gotta be honest. I didn't think that. Oh. I didn't think that the powder would go everywhere when you open the bag. Oh, <laughs> neither. <laughs> On a scale of one to ten, how big of a mess are we talking about? Oh, it's not it's not like the worst mess. It's like a six, but it's like it was an unexpected. My hands of powder on them. I was just ripping through it because I wanted to pull to confirm. And <laughs> so uh, it's like if you like ripped open a bag of flour. Yeah, sort of like, yeah, maybe not like a big bag, but yeah, there's a flour bag of that. Oh. And now if you spray it, squeeze it outside of the bag, nothing, nothing happens. happens. Yeah, squeezing it, wow. it's it's dead. I wish you had your phone on. Yeah. Well, <laughs> <laughs> well Gavin, I got news for you, buddy. He can have the phone on or he can be in the podcast, but he can't do both. <laughs> you got to take your pick. Buddy. I mean, I, I sent him a phone. I should have sent an extinguisher with it. <laughs> Just giving him all the time. Andrew needs all the ingredients. <laughs> Speaking of all the ingredients. What defines a basket? Please end this episode. We have to go. We have to go. Goodbye. Thank you for one year of face. Goodbye. It's the furthest south you've been. Love you. Just rate and review and all that stuff. And tune in uh, in exactly one year when Andrew sets off another fire extinguisher. But this one's full. <laughs> I'm back. I missed all that. My it, What happened? My, my computer froze. I didn't hear anything for the past 15. We good? <laughs> Are you serious? What, yeah. Oh, it's over? Okay. I was uh, I, I was proofing one of the earlier episodes a, uh -huh. a few days ago. This was before the fire extinguisher. And <laughs> it, I think it was one of the ones leading up to it. And Andrew used the phrase, you don't understand the level of elaborate when describing like all the stuff you needed to buy for the fire extinguisher, yeah. you just put it in 12 bags. What, yeah. what are you talking well, no. about? That because... was shit you could have had already under your sink. What's elaborate no, about <laughs> rummaging around for bags? <laughs> That's a great okay. question. It, yeah, it is a great question and it's... I have an answer for it. As I said, I believe last week, that wasn't my original plan. I was going right. to build a Dexter kill room and that was oh. very elaborate of like putting all the sheets up and like creating a door for it. And Yeah, but the thing is like the, a lot the of work. constant downfall with all your plans isn't like a major obstacle rearing its ugly head. You're probably just sat there and then you just think, nah. No, it's I couldn't figure out how to tape the seal. Yeah, it's like genuinely the issue. <laughs> Gavin, you didn't understand the level of elaborate, and Andrew didn't understand the level of effort. <laughs> <laughs> and they just didn't line up.
<laughs> you couldn't figure out how to tape stuff to the ceiling? No, it's not my ceiling. I don't want to fuck up. I'm renting a place, so I don't want to fuck up the paint on the ceiling. It just seemed like, what, I don't know. What do I you figure have it in the fire? Do you have, like, white spirit? What's in the fire extinguisher? <laughs> what do you think is going to happen? What do you mean? It fucking shoots everywhere. It's a powder. It just goes everywhere. It'd be a goddamn mess. Just so sweep I need it, to contain it in some What color what do you is your sweep, ceiling? Sweep the fucking ceiling? What do you what want? <laughs> what color is your ceiling? Uh, it's white, but it's oh, not the got? same. No, it's <laughs> you fucking no. That's what not how that works. <laughs> white, but it's chem. Right. It's a ca I can't just fucking. That'd be Problem terrible. Salt. It's, no, it sounds like it took care of itself. It sounds like you could paint the ceiling really quickly for free. <laughs> I don't want to paint the ceiling though. I'm fine with the favor. color of the ceiling. Everything's good. <laughs> It didn't even go off, so I'm glad I didn't do. Well, it did, you know, like it was. It would sneezed. I didn't expect it to sneeze. I gotta be honest with you, Andrew. If you're trying to keep the integrity of this apartment together because someday you want to move out and get the security deposit back, I don't think the fire extinguisher is going to be why you don't get it. I think it's going to be any of the million other things you've done. Uh, yeah, no, that's fair. There, there I mean, there's some holes in the wall. There's some <laughs> falls. Falls have happened. Um, <laughs> I mean, yeah, I have other issues beyond the fire extinguisher. Do you think it's for the best you live in an apartment? Like, if you lived in a house, would it just be trashed because you would care less? No. No. I, no, I would take... No. Definitely not. It'd be nice to have a house. I think Andrew's a fairly conscientious lad. Yeah. I'm pretty mindful of things. It's different. Like, it's a weird thing where I, I don't, you know... If it was my house, I would have just fired the fire extinguisher without cause. Like, I, whatever. I'll deal with it. But <laughs> other people's hmm. spaces. You tread lightly. Ugh. And so uh, what what else is going on with y'all? I was wondering, Andrew, have you replaced your fire extinguisher? No, no, I've never. I, I got one fire extinguisher in my life. I I don't. What do you mean replace? Like wait, buy a wait, new one? How how long have you had that one? Uh, I got it when I got the flamethrower. That isn't a flamethrower. Oh, okay. So you fired it, and now it was useless in the firing. Uh, yeah. And according to some, a lie. According uh, to you, not. I don't carry the wave, to be honest with you, because I think the basket more than made up for it. <laughs> but it's now you now have an empty fire extinguisher that I, I assume is serving as a mic stand still. Uh, it's just next to my desk. It feels very full. Just nothing will come out of it. it feels very. Why full. don't you get it fixed for free? I think. Well, I'd have to go to a fire hall to do that. I don't like. I'm never just at the fire hall. What if you have a fire? Yeah. Also, why do you not I like doing anything in a week? Like, are you mad if you leave the house? No, not at all. What do you mean? It's just I'm never going to the fire hall. Also, COVID pretty bad here right now. I, I limit my trips. I get what I need. That's fair. Well, that's, that's fair. That's fair. fair. Yeah. That's fair. That's fair. Totally yeah. fair. Yeah. I I just uh, I've never just happened to be at the fire hall. I also never happened <laughs> to just have my fire extinguisher on me. It's not a. Well, I mean, it could be a thing that one makes a point of doing, uh, but you don't have to stumble into it as if like, oh, how did I end up here at the fire hall? I, and what? I have my fire extinguisher on me as well. What a happy coincidence. Um, but I got to say, Andrew, having never met anybody else who lives in your apartment complex, mm -hmm. I'm going to make an assumption that I feel pretty safe in making is that every out of all the people in that apartment complex, you're the one who needs a fire extinguisher the most. Oh, you know what a I do have? A fire extinguisher. This is a really dangerous thing that I have. I have a fire alarm in my unit, like that you find in a building, and I stare at it.